in Tachikawa right now and we're gonna go to the pool and it's really cheap. Apparently in the summer since it becomes so unbearable in Japan, people like going to these public water parks. So normally you pay about, for the more famous water parks, you pay about 4,000 yen if you really want to go. That's about 2,000 pesos. I'm not gonna pay 2,000 pesos to swim in a pool. So I found a hack. There's a place in Tachikawa that's called like the Rainbow Pool within the same park that I went to in April. And normally if you go like any time of the day, it's 2,000 yen, which is already half the price. If you go after 2 p.m., the price gets cut even more. It becomes 1,000 yen. So you really save a lot just by going a little after 2 p.m., which is fine by me because the sun gets a little strong anyway. So now we're gonna go, and it's my first time to go to a public pool here in Japan. I think it's gonna be very fun. Yeah, I'm not wearing any makeup. Cool. To get to the rainbow pool, I highly suggest getting off at Higashi Nakagami Station because from there, it's only a 10 minute walk and it's very easy to find the park. It's really hot. Um, I'm from the Philippines, right? So you think I would be used to tropical weather. This isn't tropical at all. It's a lot. It's so hot all the time and I feel my back sweat. So please don't come to Japan at this time. Unless you really like matsuris, because that's the only thing that they really do, or like that's the only thing that's very popular, or like sets the other seasons apart, I think. So. So, right before we were gonna jump in the pool, it's <laughs> a 10 minute break. It's almost absurd. So, yeah, we just finished putting on sunscreen because SPF is important. <laughs> yeah, now we're gonna wait for the break to be over and then we're going to the pool. So many people today and it's really yeah, it's hot. So crowded, so crazy, so crazy hot, crazy people. I'm gonna die. Thank you so you. sure. He's gonna get really red, he says. Yeah. And I'm just gonna burn. So. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be crispy. <laughs> The thing that I liked most about my experience visiting the Rainbow Pool was that it felt so local. I loved watching all the different families just go about their summer day and of course we made sure to put a lot of sunscreen because it was so 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 hot. We just spent like a good how many hours just exploring the park. So there are about four or five different types of pools. There's a wave pool, there's just a pool that's like a lazy river so even if you don't do anything there's a current that just brings you around there's just a general wading pool for everybody and then they also have a kiddie pool my favorite was definitely the wave pool it's, I think for the amount of money that you pay for the sunset um, ticket it's really really cheap because there are like I said earlier specialized water parks around Tokyo that charge you 4,000 yen to enter and I don't know if they have a discount pass after that so yeah, I do think it's worth a day trip. Really try to go after 2 p.m. because anytime before that, it's just way too hot. I'm happy that the sun is setting now, so it's a little calmer. But if you ever find yourself in Tokyo in the middle of summer or in the beginning of summer where it's just unbearably hot, this is a really good option. We also just tried the slide and it took us about 30 minutes to slide, but it was so worth it. Uh, that's basically it. So I'm gonna go show you clips of the pool now. It was just so much fun spending a really lazy afternoon at the water park. It's been a while since I've done that. I think the last time I did that, I was in high school or maybe even early high school. Those are some of my fondest memories. Spending afternoons at Club Manila East with my two younger sisters and just jumping around the wave pool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Shogo's going to demonstrate. He wants to demonstrate how the pools are. But his favorite is the wave pool as well, so that's what we're gonna show you guys. It's quite big. It reminds me of Club Manila East, but without the diving area. Demonstrating how nice the wave pool is. Please don't mind the family in the back. I didn't mean to capture them. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's basically it. Nah, oh god. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!